today I am going to be talking about the elemental spokes. The elemental spokes of the world machine are four uh, gears which revolve around the major plate and are contained within the periphery. The elemental spokes are coal, rust, oil, and steam. And these represent the most valuable consumable resources that exist in the entire mechanism. Uh, each one of the elemental spokes seeds the world with energy. Uh, as a system, the world machine has to perpetuate, and so it recycles the lost matter of the world into these elements and sends them out to where they pop out of a wellspring of sorts, which is the spire of each one of the, uh, each one of the spokes. So, of course, when it recycles coal, that goes to the coal spoke. When it recycles rust, that goes to the rust spoke and uh, steam and oil uh, in similar fashion. Each one of these uh, elemental spokes radiates a season out to the adjacent planes. Um, coal radiates summer, rust radiates autumn, oil radiates winter, and steam radiates spring. And uh, where, where these uh, seasons radiate out, um, it's very severe up close, and, but it's very weak from afar. Uh, each one of the seasons has its own special types of storm, which we call elemental squalls. So uh, in rust, there is rust squalls, much like a dust storm. In the coal spoke, there is uh, fire squalls, which are like a, a volcanic activity. In the steam spoke, there are uh, lightning squalls, which are because of the buildup and changes in clouds and energy. And in the uh, oil spoke, we have um, basically uh, blizzards, uh, which can uh, devastate and freeze. Um, on the elemental spokes, uh, it, people can survive there, but long-term exposure is bad for you, especially without the right equipment. Uh, there are native peoples who do live amongst the elemental spokes, and these are um, Efreti, Ogren, Nereids, and Sylphs. Uh, but they aren't really mythological in, this, in the sense that um, other settings might have. These are very um, very developed beings and uh, very intelligent, not, not really native or elemental or um, uh, sort of um, primal in that sense. The resources on the spokes have caused people to have wars and competition for a very long time. Many of the wars that existed in the major plate were because of uh, you know, warring ab over resources and how to stop the, the mechanism from rotating in order to have enough time to capture those resources. And this has caused um, uh, many generations of beings being, being uh, able to migrate back and forth between the elemental spokes and the major plate. And a lot of the, uh, the worst kind of pests that the major plate suffers from are creatures that are not native to the major plate. For example, rust wolves, they came across from the rust spoke um, during a war that happened a long time ago where, where the uh, revo revolution of the world machine was stopped for a small period of time. And uh, in doing this, um, it caused a huge influx of these rust wolves, and now they're a huge pest to everyone on the major plate. And so, uh, yeah, the migration of creatures back and forth has been uh, something that's influenced the development of the uh, nations on the major plate uh, quite a lot. The obverse is on the top, and the inverse is on the bottom. But today, it's the So, uh, the major plate is a huge